During the Giolitti era, 1901-1914, Italy took a major step forward towards industrialization. Mondovi, together with Saviano, had the highest number of specialized industrial workers in the province, about 10%. In 1897, Richard Ginori from Milan bought Felice Musso's factory in Carassone, radically renovating it and quickly making it the largest and the most advanced in the entire area. As you can see from the photograph, the Richard Ginori factory in Carassone was built according to the most rational and modern standards, one of its kind in the whole region in the 19th century. It featured low open rooms with large bright windows. There was even a team of 14 firemen standing on the ledge at the top. In particular, to keep up with the increasing strong competition, it used to employ many workers and organize them according to specific tasks in the different departments. There are 308 of them in the photograph. 10% were young boys. In those days, they could work in a factory from the age of 12 and begin their apprenticeship at 14. In Mondovi, the apprentice was called Forik and worked under Garzon. In the second row from the bottom, on the very left, there are two Forik held in a fatherly hug by their moustached Garzon. They are wearing the typical outfit used in the molding department, the Fauda, an apron tied on the back made of white and thick cloth which protected them against flashes of slip. In the center there are also a lot of women and just as many girls who were all employed in the decoration department. Clerks and executives seem proud to be sitting in the front row. Next to the two forik on the left there is one of the workers in charge of the kiln as you can tell from the suit and coal on his clothes and face. The twelfth worker from the left, in the top row, and other two just below him, a bit further to the right, are holding a stonebreaker hammer. They are from the milling and clay preparation department. The fourth man from the left, in the first bottom row, the one with the big moustache, is probably one of the workers in charge of the tin templates used for decoration. Is wearing an oversized leather apron. A young boy on the left, in the second row from the bottom, proudly shows a large plate, the result of everybody's work. <laughs>